Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tapascala.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. This is the card that I've been making today. Uh, it's got my very favourite things on it. It's got a cat and it's about Halloween, which is my favourite holiday of the year. I really love it, really enjoy Halloween. Uh, now, I want to say before I get going that this is actually what we call a case, all right? And case stands for copy and share everything. I saw a card like this in a Facebook group that I belong to and uh, I didn't make a note of who it was that posted it. I will try and find it but it was uh, you know it, it was a few weeks ago that I saw it so I may not be able to uh, to give credit to uh, the originator of this idea. So if it was you uh, if you posted this in the um, in the private group for Stamping Up Demonstrators, um, can you please leave me a comment and let me know because I'd really like to give you credit. All right, but uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and make up this card and uh, we'll show you how I made it. These are the things that I'm going to be using today. My card base is thick fairy vanilla and I've cut it to my usual size which is four inches by eleven and a half and I've scored and folded it at five and three quarters. I've got a piece of basic black which is three and three quarters by five and a half and that's going to be my mat on the front of my card. Uh, I've got uh, a little piece of uh, the Spooky Night uh, DSP and this is uh, it's an inch by four inches, probably going to trim that down. And I've got a little piece of pumpkin pie, which is three quarters of an inch by four inches. Uh, I've got a piece of Whisper White, which I'm going to be sponging and colouring. And that's about, let's have a look. So yeah, it's about three and a half inches square. Okay size for that one so it's not absolutely critical but uh, you don't want it to be too small. I'm going to be doing some stamping so I'm using the Spooky Cat stamps. I love these stamps because it's Halloween and it's got a cat on. And I've got the cat punch. All right. Uh, I've got some my shades of yellow stamp pads. So I've got the Daffodil Delight, Crushed Curry and So Saffron. I've also got a bit of Pumpkin Pie. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use all of those but I've got them out just in case. Definitely going to be using the Basic Black and I've also got my uh, Layering Circle Framelits. I'm going to sponge some colour onto my piece of Whisper White. Now this is going to be my moon um, and I could cut it out before I coloured it but I've decided that actually perhaps I can hold on to it by the bits that uh, I'm not going to be colouring and that might be slightly less messy. Um, so what I've done, I've taken the dye I'm going to be using which is the largest of the, 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 the plain circle framelits and I've just gone on the outside uh, with my pencil just to give me an indication of uh, where my circle is and where I'm going to be cutting. So I'm going to start sponging with my piece of, with my so piece of, with my sponge and my so saffron. All right, and I'm going to kind of go pretty much all over this piece. All right, even though I'm going to be covering up most of it because that will give the inks that I then come in with something to to glide over and I have been asked in the past well if you want all yellow card why don't you start with yellow card start with a piece of so saffron or even daffodil delight and the answer is is that the uh, the colored cards we do they're great for stamping but they aren't as smooth as whisper white or very vanilla and uh, that's why I start on a on the Whisper White, there is absolutely nothing better than Whisper White or Very Vanilla for stamping and inking on. I don't think so anyway. You know? Okay, that's starting on the shape I want it to. Alright, so let's have some 
crushed curry. This could probably do with a bit of a re-inking actually. Okay. And again, sorry about the the camera shake. I will try and get iMovie to correct it. So that it's not making you seasick. But I have said before, if you follow this channel, I work on Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. I work on what is basically a uh, a picnic table, which is covered in uh, covered in a bit of um, wood effect wallpaper. Actually, I often get asked about it, and it is. It's just as simple as that. And when it gets too dirty. I just uh, just cut a piece off and you know put another piece on. Okay, so there we go. So I'm pretty happy with that as being a good spooky witch's moon. So I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot and I'm going to cut it out with the largest of my circle fragments. There it is. And I will be right back. So here is my lovely piece of card all cut out to resemble a moon. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the cat silhouette out of the moon. But... Because I didn't think this through and I cut out this piece before I punched out the cat, um, it makes it awkward to handle. But there is a way around it, so I'm going to show you. And that is, I'm going to take a post-it note and I'm going to stick my moon onto my post-it note. So now the postie will give me something to hold on to while I bring in the punch and I decide where I want the cat to be. And I want to leave some moon, but I want to have the cat silhouette in front of it. So if I punch that, there we go, and there now, I can take that away. And if I bring in my black card, there I have my cat in front of the moon. Right, so I'm going to bring in my liquid adhesive and stick that down and uh, I can't remember I wish I could remember the name of the person who first posted this one and if it was you thank you very much and I wish I could give you credit for giving me an idea I think I've got a little bit too much liquid glue on there it come on. It's got a baby wipe and just pick up some of that just so that it doesn't wash out the sides and note to self if you're doing that don't do it on your card luckily I have magic two-sided card and I can turn that off <laughs> okay so let's put this where I want it so I want it more than halfway up because I want to put my sentiment underneath and there we are. I'm going to stamp Happy Halloween onto my piece of pumpkin pie. My stamp is already mounted up onto my block. And uh, because it's a photopolymer stamp, I've got my... my um, silicone mat underneath. Now some people prefer to use something like a mouse mat or a um, piercing mat. I find this works just fine for me. Um, okay, so where am I going to stamp that? Okay, let's put that pretty much in the middle and because it's photopolymer I can see through it. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. 
five, so they need to transfer. And um, yeah, it hasn't done too bad a job, but it's a little bit pale and faded, and so I'm going to turn my paper over, and I'm going to do it come again. Okay, so make sure my stamp is well inked up. Yeah, and here we go. And this time I won't so so long chatting before I uh, I put my stamp down. There we go. That's better. That's much more what I was looking for. So let's just finish off the front of the card. So to begin with, I'm going to uh, put this piece right across the bottom. And I'm going to use my wet adhesive while I have it handy. I don't know why I turned that round. There was absolutely no reason for me to do that. And this is just a little bit too long. Because uh, I wasn't sure right up until this very minute how I was going to use this piece. I did think I might um, kind of cut little bannery type ends and put that on there and okay and the same thing with a happy Halloween I think I think I'll just keep it simple oh I've just thought of something else that I'm going to put on to this card in just a moment which wasn't in the supplies list because I've only just thought of it. All right, so I'm just gonna again trim that to where I want it. Okay, and now I can go ahead and put this onto my card base. Come on, adhesive. Okay, that doesn't want to play for a moment. It was working a minute ago. It is full. It just needs the, the nozzle clearing, so I'll bring in my fast views. There we go. Since the uh, since the wet glue of the Tombow is having a salt, we'll bring in the jolly old fast fuse there we go all right okay so finishing touch be right back let's have a couple of these the black rhinestone jewels and we've got small ones and large ones so I think the small ones will do the job for me here and we'll just put one there and we'll have Another one. There. So there it is. There is my finished card. And uh, thank you for staying with me all the way through to the end of the video. Really do appreciate it. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if so, uh, then I would love it if you would uh, click that like button uh, and leave me a comment. Let me know that you liked it. Uh, and why not even subscribe to my channel and come back and see me again soon. But for now... Bye-bye.